This is the first in a series of lectures on moles and stoichiometry. And uh, moles and stoichiometry are, uh, is a concept that is used to calculate or do chemical calculations. And before moving on and um, uh, defining anything, we first need to understand what the term mole means. So this term, moles, we need to define what this specific term and what's the meaning of this term, moles. Now, um, to give you, um, uh, before uh, giving you a brief uh, description of what moles is, uh, we first need to understand that uh, uh, we have invented different uh, units or uh, for counting. For example, uh, if you if you want to count, if you uh, you can use the word hundreds. There's this term which is used for counting. So if you have, uh, let's say, uh, a pages in a copy, you can say you have 100 or 200 pages. Or if you're reading a book, you can say it's a 300-page book. So this term, um, uh, 100, is used to simplify your calculation. So so mm -hmm. a 100 is basically 10 raised to the power 2. So if you have um, things that can be counted using 100, you'll use that. You won't say... You have three followed by two zeros. You'll say you have you have three hundred something. Similarly, there's another term used in in, in exactly the same manner. That is a thousand. So if I have seven thousand rupees uh, in my wallet, I would say I would use the word thousand. I would say that it I have seven followed by three zeros. So I'll use the word thousand in this case. And in exactly the same way, you have the word, uh, you have different uh, other words which are described for counting, which are used for counting. Uh, there is million. So let's say I want to, um, I want to count the population of uh, Karachi, let's say. So that would be around 8 to 9 million or it would be 18 to 20 million. So I'll, I wouldn't say that Karachi has 18 followed by six zeros. Uh, I would say I would simply use the word million. So as your so one million is ten to the power six, which means that it's ten followed by six zeros. Now, in exactly the same way, as you as the demand for counting increases, as you go to bigger and bigger numbers, uh, if you want to count the foreign exchange reserves of let's say Pakistan, you'll 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 count them in billions. So one billion is uh, ten. It's uh, it one billion is going to have one followed by nine zeros. So so that's one billion. So billions would be used uh, for counting very very large numbers. You won't say I have three followed by nine zeros. You'll say you'll have you you have three billion uh, rupees or the currency or the foreign exchange of this country has uh, has three or five billion or ten billion. You so you'll use the word billions to count larger numbers and similarly if you go to even bigger numbers you have trillions so if you want to if you want to figure out the size of uh, the economy of uh, let's say america that would be in trillions that's that's uh, that would be if, if it's uh, 10 or 15 trillion that would be 15 followed by 12 zeros so instead of saying that it's 15 followed by 12 zeros you can use the word trillion now, where does mole fit in? The problem with moles is, or with chemistry that is, that you have a lot of atoms. And even the word trillion is actually very small. When you're counting uh, atoms, a trillion atoms is not very much. So if you want to count a very large amount of atoms, there are so many atoms, molecules, uh, compounds, ions, etc., that even the word trillion is actually quite small. So instead, what you do is that in chemistry counting is done in moles. And I'll if I have one mole of something, let's say I have one mole of sodium atoms, And remember, there are uh, there are lots of atoms and molecules around you. So 
trillion is a very small number when you're counting atoms. So if you have one mole of sodium atoms, what that, uh, the amount of atoms that's equal to one mole of atoms is uh, is 6.02 into 10 is power 23 atoms. So if somebody says they have one mole of sodium atoms, then that would mean that they are 6.02 into 10 is power 23 atoms. Uh, so 6.02 into 10 is power 23, if you want to understand how many atoms that is, that is 6 followed by 23 zeros. So that's a very, very large number. It would take a lot of time for you to write down 23 zeros. So counting in um, counting in chemistry is uh, done using moles. And it's exactly the same concept as you use hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, or trillions. Uh, for counting atoms, molecules, ions, you would be using moles. So if you have two moles, that's the double, that you would simply double the amount. So, so remember, whenever you're going to count whenever you're going to count atoms or molecules or ions or anything related to chemistry you'll be using the term moles for counting now i'm going to uh, do this small very tiny exercise and it's very very obvious there's nothing to it it's very simple. I, I'm just going to convert the unit. I've, I've given different units. There's a thousand, there's a million, there's a billion, and there's another quantity in thousand. So I want to convert and find out the actual number. So what's the actual number? So if I'm given 7,000, uh, that would indicate that that would be seven, and you multiply it, what does a thousand stand for? It's going to stand for 10 to the power three. That's what a thousand is. Or you can write one followed by three zeros. So if I if you want to find what the actual number is, you're going to multiply seven with what this thousand stands for, and the answer that you're going to get for this is going to be seven followed by three zeros. If you do that in your calculator, similarly, I have this other unit. Uh, this quantity is given in millions. It's 0.8 million. So if I want to find uh, what the actual number is, I'm going to multiply 0.8, and what does a million stand for? It, it's going to stand for 10 to the power six. So uh, the answer in my calculator, remember to use your calculators very, very uh, correctly. Remember to check your answers. Uh, make sure that if you do some mental math, make sure that your answer that you get is, uh, it is, is, is exactly to the, is approximately the right answer or not. Because uh, when you're doing calculations in standard form, your calculators generally tend to make a lot of mistakes. So put brackets when you're using your calculator. So it's 0.8 into 10 to the power 6. 10 to the power 6 is the thing is what a million stands for. And the answer that you're going to get in your calculator is going to be this. Now, uh, here's another uh, quantity. It's 120 billion. So we have a larger number. It's in billions now. So if I want to find the actual number, it's going to be 120. And what does a billion stand for? It's going to stand for 10 to the power 9. So that's what a billion is. So I'm going to multiply 120 with 10 to the power 9. And the answer that I'm going to get in my calculator is going to be, it's either going to be in standard form, or if you convert that standard form, it's going to be followed by... So this is the quantity. This is what, a one, what, this is, what is meant by 120 billion. And lastly, I'm going to convert 50,000 into the actual number. So it's 50... And what does a thousand stand for? It's 10 to the power three. And if I multiply that in my calculator, it's going to be, it's going to be 50 thousand. That's the number that I'm going to get. Now moles is another unit and you're going to do your calculation in exactly the same way as you convert a thousand to the number as you as I've described how 0.8 million was converted into this number 120 billion was converted into this number so moles when you're treating moles they should be treated in exactly the same way it's a unit for counting atoms except for the fact that when you're dealing with chemistry the atoms have atoms generally are um, they have they have, they, have, they are counted in very very large numbers so the word trillion the word billion these are relatively small quantities when you compare it with a mole now what we have figured out so far right uh, till now is that one mole is equal to 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 and it is 
uh, exactly uh, 6.02 into 10 is about 23 and it's a unit for counting it's like a billion or a trillion the way the way that we use thousands hundreds billions trillions these words so similarly mole is a unit for counting and uh, so one mole is equal to 6.02 into 10 is about 23 so if i say i have one mole of molecules that basically means that i have 6.02 into 10 is about 23 um, uh, molecules of that particular uh, substance so this 6.02 into 10 is about 23 it's also known as the avogadro's number or it's also known as the avogadro's constant um, and this is a very special number we're going to talk about its speciality later but first we need to learn how to count in terms of moles so for example um, if i have one mole of a substance that means i have 6.02 into 10 is about 23 of that particular substance uh, so if i if i say i have two moles of let's say sodium atoms now that would mean that i have double this particular amount uh, because one mole is equal to 6.02 into 10 is for 23 so if i say i have two moles that means that that would mean that i have 6.02 into 10 is for 23 and this number is going to be multiplied by two so that is the amount of uh, sodium atoms that i'm going to have in a similar way if i say i have um, let's say i have 25 moles of of uh, cl2 molecules and remember this uh, the unit for moles is mol so uh, don't get confused when i write mol that is simply a unit for writing moles so if i say i have 25 moles of chlorine molecules that means that i have 6.02 into 10 is per 23 and this number would be multiplied by 25 so that would be the number of uh, chlorine molecules that i'm going to have so uh, in a way uh, we can figure out a formula of uh, finding out what is the actual number if i want to convert something to to the and i need to find out the actual number or amount and i'm given moles then what I'm going to do, for example, if you look over here, you have 25, you had 25 moles of chlorine molecules. So you ended up multiplying those moles with 6.02 into 10 power 23. So that would mean that I'm going to multiply the Avogadro's number Avogadro's number by the number of moles that I have. So that would give me a formula for finding out uh, the amount of substance that I'm going to have. Now there's no, there's not, uh, the, you're not supposed to get confused with this. Um, Avogadro's number is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. So I'm going to multiply my moles with that particular number. So it's, uh, I'll, I'll give you an analogy of uh, what this formula is all about. Let me, let me circle this formula first. Um, it's this formula over here, so you need to need to write down this formula, and it's it, it's going to come. So I'm circling this formula over here. So it's an it's a very intuitive formula, and you can think of it as an analogy. Let's say I'm counting something in millions, and I know that one million. So I'm going I'm going to give you an analogy that you use every day without any confusion so if i say now 1 million is equal to it's 1 into 10 is power 6 or in other words 1 million is equal to it's equal to 1 followed by 6 zeros so that is 1 million so if i tell you that i have uh, 6 uh, let's say I, I tell you that i have 6 million rupees now that would mean that i have 1 into 10 is power 6 and I'm going, going to multiply that by 6. That is going to be 6 million. So that means that is going to be 6. And that would be followed by 6 zeros. So in, in, in exactly the same way, 
if you're given moles for example i was given six i was given uh, the quantity was given in millions now in exactly the same way if i'm given moles i'm going to multiply the avogadro's number by that and i'll find the number of or the amount of substance that i have uh, let me do a few more examples let's say i have three more three moles of a particular substance now if i have three moles of a particular substance so if i have three moles of let's say calcium atoms now in exactly the same way i'm going to use this analogy now one mole is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 so if i have three moles that would be the avogadro's number multiplied by three because i have three times that amount so it, so this is equal to one mole so i have three moles that would mean that i i have three times that amount so you instead you can what you can do is you can use that formula that i've given above and uh, it's a simple formula of finding moles so if you have three moles and you want to find the amount so the amount is going to be equal to uh, the Avogadro's number 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 into 10 to the power 23 so that's your Avogadro's number and I'm going to multiply it with 3 moles so this would give me the actual amount or the number of uh, atoms of calcium that I have you can do the math yourself so remember it's a simple intuitive formula if you're given moles and you multiply it by the Avogadro's number, you, you get the actual amount which, which would give you the number of atoms that you have. In this video lecture, I'm going to try and convert uh, a few examples uh, which are given in moles. Uh, so the unit that I'm using is moles and I'm going to try and convert that into the actual number. So in the first case, I have, I have 0. 0 0.125 moles of FeBr3, which means uh, I want to find out how, what is the amount of substance that I actually have, what is the number that I have. So it's 0 0.125 moles. So if I want to convert 0 0.125 moles into the actual number, I will multiply it by 6.02 into 10 raised to the power. 23. Now it's exactly the same way as you convert any unit to the actual number. So it's 0 0.125 into 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 and the answer that I'm going to get is uh, 7.525 in my calculator. So it's 7.525 into 10 raised to the power 22.